Tonight we're taking a look at the implications of the recent Supreme Court decision in Sackett versus the Environmental Protection Agency ruling in favor of property owners and their plans to build a home nearby P Lake Priest in Idaho. The court detailed good news to farmers and ranchers here in Montana who have awaited that verdict for a very long time. Today, Ren Wadsworth spoke with the State Department of Environmental Quality to learn more about the role wetlands play right here in our Montana ecosystem. There's a potential for an economic boon right here in the treasure state, but native wetlands could be negatively impacted or destroyed at the cost of the development. The EPA cites the Clean Water Act in establishing regulation of pollutants into the water of the U.S., as well as regulating standards for surface waters. However, federal regulation and safeguards have been rolled back due to a recent decision from the Supreme Court of the United States. This decision has been considered a major victory for the ag industry, landowners, and developers. They said it has been a whirlwind of legal battles for the use of priorly purchased land. Justice Samuel Alito asserts in his majority opinion that the EPA has misinterpreted the Clean Water Act's reach and that their power in the area should be reconsidered. But there is more to this decision than the fight over land, wet or not. According to DEQ, wetlands provide many crucial things to our ecosystem. Well, wetlands are, are important for many reasons. In Montana, they cover about 3 to 5 percent of the landscape, but they provide many benefits that sort of outweigh their relative scarcity. They really help function to attenuate nutrients, filter pollutants. They are commonly known as the kidneys of the landscape. They help buffer floodwaters and both reduce flood flows and flood heights, helping protect public safety. The department also says wetlands are already consistently being impacted and destroyed due to road, land, and infrastructure development. But they hope they can continue to collaborate with farmers, ranchers, landowners, and tribal councils to negotiate ways to preserve state wetlands. Now only time will tell the true impacts of the new Clean Water Act for both development and conservation of wetlands across the United States. Ren Wadsworth, Nonstop Local. Ren, thank you very much.